Tonight, Indianapolis Metro Police are searching for a man who shot a bouncer at a Broad Ripple bar. It's the latest act of violence in that popular neighborhood. CBS 4's Max Lewis explains what happened and got reaction in Broad Ripple. That shooting happened early this morning here at Connors Pub. Police tell us that there was some sort of disturbance inside and the suspect was asked to leave, which he did. But then they say he turned around and shot right through the door. That bullet struck the bar's bouncer, sending him to the hospital where he was released after only about two hours. We're all really grateful and thankful that that he's okay. Elfie Blair is a regular at Connor's Pub and knows the bouncer well. Blair, like many here, has noticed the increasing sound of gunfire and police sirens. Somehow it seems to be since COVID, people got crazy yeah. and uh, don't know how to have a good time without without getting violent. Brown Ripple has seen its fair share of violence this year. In June, police say a woman opened fire and killed three people in the heart of the village. The month before that, one person was injured in a shootout with nearly 100 shell casings located at the scene. The bullets went flying into several cars and homes, causing widespread damage. That's not the people from Broad Ripple. That's not it. It's the people coming from all over the place, bars closing sooner, and then they end up here. IMPD says it has stepped up security and surveillance in the village and will continue those efforts. As an agency, we're doing as much as we can uh, to curb uh, why the crime is not just in Broad Whipple, but throughout our city. In regards to this morning, police saying they don't believe the pub was the problem. Blair agrees and says she believes the problem comes down to too many people with guns who shouldn't have them. Just the last couple of years seems to be out of control. We're told that several witnesses stuck around and spoke with detectives and they are pulling surveillance video from that bar in their continued search for the shooter. Still, though, anybody with information about what happened here asked to come forward and give police a call. In Broad Ripple tonight, Max Lewis, CBS 4 News. And this isn't even the first incident involving a bouncer at that same bar. In 2019, 36 year old Al Hayes was shot and killed while trying to protect a female employee from a group of men who came in after hours. The killer in that case was sentenced to 80 years in prison last year.